Hello, welcome to Vision Institute. This is a quick bike series and in this series we will be discussing about cardiac cycle. Now, first of all, what is cardiac cycle? So basically here, cardiac cycle here means it's a series of events which occurs in a single heartbeat. Okay, so here in a single heartbeat, our heart beats about 72 times per minute. Okay, so cardiac cycle here, it means is that it is a pattern of contraction and relaxation. So contraction here means systole and relaxation means diastole. So contraction and relaxation. Contraction means systole and relaxation. Relaxation here means diastole. So here, cardiac cycle is an event where the heart produces two sounds, lap and dub. And this lap and dub, it occurs during the contraction and relaxation of heart. So during systole and diastole, the heart produces two sounds, which we call it as lap and dub. So here, the heart sound here we have, the first one we have is lap, and the second one we have is dub sound. Now, let's discuss how the heart produces these two sounds that is lap and dub. Alright, so here, this is the four chambers of heart. We have right atrium, we have right ventricle, we have left atrium and left ventricle. Alright, so in each of these chambers, you will find valves. Alright, now, the valves that is present between right atrium and right ventricle, we call it as tricuspid valve and the valve that is present between left atrium and left ventricle we call it as bicuspid valve okay now there is another valve which we call it as semilunar valve and this semilunar valve it consists of pulmonary valve and aortic valve so pulmonary and aortic valve together we call it as semilunar valve Okay, so now let's come to the cardiac cycle, how the heart produces these two sounds. Now, first of all, the first step is during joint diastole. I, joined, I have joined here, the diagram here. Okay, so this one, this first one that you see here, this is joint diastole, this is atrial systole, and this is ventricular systole. So this one we have is ventricular, ventricular systole. And this one is atrial systole. So like I have said, the first one that we will start is from joint diastole. Now what occurs during this joint diastole is that during joint diastole, the valve of the AV valves and this AV valves and are opened whereas the semilunar valves they are closed okay so during joint diastole what happened is that the valves between the right atrium and then the right ventricle valves are open so similarly the left atrium and the left ventricle valves will also be open that means bicuspid valve and tricuspid valve will be open during joint diastole and at the same time semilunar valves will be closed during joint diastole now what happens during this joint diastole is that when the valves are opened okay when the valves are open the blood enter into the ventricles in both the sides of the ventricles right side from the right side, the blood will enter through the vena cava and from the left ventricle, the blood will enter through pulmonary vein. Okay, so when the blood enter into the right and left ventricle, the ventricle is filled with blood. Now, right after that, we come to the atrial systole. After joint diastole, which takes about 0.4 seconds, the next step is atrial systole. So during atrial systole, what happens is that contraction of atria takes place. That means depolarization of atria. So when the atrium, when both the sides of the atrium, they contract, the blood flow that is entering into the ventricles, it increases by 30%. 
by 30 percent the blood flow that is entering into the ventricles will increase by 30 percent okay and during that state we call it as atrial systole and that takes about 0.1 second okay now right after the atria the contracts after the blood it flows into the ventricles when the blood enters into the ventricles after some second it will lead to the contraction of ventricles all right so when the ventricles they contract what happens is that the valves okay these av valves they will close so when av valves they close and when ventricles they contract it produces the first sound that we call it as lap so the first sound it produces Okay, it is produced when AV valves, that means tricapsid valve and bicapsid valve, when they are closed, it produces the first sound valve and it occurs in the ventricular system. So the first sound is produced here when the ventriculars it contracts. Now, see, both the AV valves, both are closed. Okay, now both are closed, what will happen? The pressure that is present here in the ventricles will increase, right? So once the pressure it increases in the ventricles, it will lead to the opening of the semilunar valves. So semilunar valve is present here. Now, once the pressure it increases here, the semilunar valves will be opened. So when the semilunar valves it open, the blood will flow out through semilunar valve okay so when the semilunar valve it opens the ventricles the pressure the blood pressure that was there here in the ventricles will flow up so when it flows up like this the pressure in the ventricles will be reduced and ventricles will come to the relaxation state that is ventricular diastole so when the ventricles they are in relaxed state these semilunar valves they close all right so when the semilunar valve it closed it produces the second sound that we call it as here dub okay so the second sound is produced when the semilunar valves are closed and the ventricles they are in relaxed state so here ventricular diastole during this the second sound that is dub which is produced during ventricular systole all right now the total okay duration the time it takes for a single heartbeat is 0 0.8 seconds the total the total duration it takes is 0 0.8 seconds all right it takes about 0 0.8 seconds to complete this cardiac cycle now here we have discussed about atrial systole right so atrial systole is taking about how many seconds it's taking 0 0.1 seconds now what about the atrial diastole so here atrium and we have ventricles okay so here we have the systole so in systole atria is taking how many seconds 0 0.1 second now the remaining okay the remaining the diastole that is atrial diastole will take about 0 0.7 seconds and the ventricle is taking how many seconds 0 0.3 0 0.3 seconds right so the remaining what it is doing it is in relaxation relaxation state so it will take about 0 0.5 seconds for ventricular diastole now see 7 8 5 8 so that means total duration is 0 0.8 seconds okay so this is cardiac cycle series of events where the heart produces the two sound that is love and dub thank you